I? Who am I? Why do they want to kill me? I can't remember anything except two words. Coronet Blue. Coronet Blue. wouldn't if I were you. Why not? Your friends are still there. What friends? What friends? 
whoever was trying to kill you? Two men came to the gate asking for you. I didn't know it was me they wanted. They described you. You see the faces? I'm not supposed to be talking to you. How long have I been here? Two days. Where am I? In St. Connell's Monastery. Where's that? What city? What country? Ira, listen. Look for oh. yourself. New York City? I thought I was in the Dark Ages. What did you do that they want to kill you? I don't know that either. Do you know your name? Hmm? Michael Old. Anthony. Brother. Oh, I'm sorry. supposed to do? Walk away and let me die? At this stage, I'm supposed to practice one thing, obedience. Now get away from me. I'm sorry you're being punished. But didn't you say someplace before that you knew who I was? Yes. Who am I? Frater Anthony. Yes, Reverend. Report to my office. Fair, does it? Since they must keep silence. Why must they keep silence? They're attempting to commune with God rather than gibber to one another. Here we are. Anthony! The Akupu Reverence. Excuse me. Why did you call me that? Mayor Cooper means my fault. Anthony, you call me Anthony, please. Why did you call me Anthony? You may go. Excuse me, I want to know. Why did you call me Anthony? He probably mistook you for someone else. Who, the one who's studying to be a monk? His name is Anthony, but we don't look alike, do we? No, not at all. But you both behave alike. Both like young thoroughbred horses, always ready to spring into action. I don't want to be disrespectful, but I really don't feel like having a free analysis of my character. I'm in trouble. Yes, I should think so. A bullet wound in your shoulder. Go to the police. Police can't help me. Undoubtedly, Al Capone said the same thing. If somebody shot me, I should go to the police. Well, that's your decision. All we want is for you to get well. Do me a favor. Take it easy on Frater Anthony. He stuck his neck out for me, that's all. He could have attended to you without bringing you here and hiding you in secret. He has a dramatic nature. I'm not certain whether he's going to be a monk or a secret agent. Shouldn't you be doing something else? Yes, but this is more interesting. Two months here, I was always stepping on them. How long have you been here? Two months. I didn't know there were places like this right in New York. Neither <laughs> did I.
temptation of St. Anthony. St. Anthony? It's me. My face. Exactly. My face. Why don't you see the joke? What joke? I thought it was a funny coincidence. Is it a coincidence? That's the point. When was this done? I don't know. It's pretty modern. Find him. Why? He knows my face. I've got to find out when I posed for this. Did you pose for it? I'm not sure. Is that why you shot me and brought me here? I didn't shoot you. What's the matter with you? I'm sorry. I was just testing you. Yeah. You're tested enough every day. Thanks a lot. I don't know who I am. Do you understand that? Somebody's trying to kill me. I don't know who I am or what my real name is. This stray knows. It's interesting. The three of us are Anthony. You have his face, I have his name. My real name is Peter Bainey. We choose another name when we come here. So I chose Anthony. Who we were isn't supposed to matter. Does it matter? It's a little hard to forget sometimes. <laughs> I am surrounded by demons, just as if the artist knew what was going to happen. Are you surrounded by demons? It's as good a name for them as any. But he's luckier than I am. He can see them. He knows who they are. of your soul. It was nice meeting you. Good luck. Anthony, thanks. You will always be here? I expect so, if it works out. You're not sure? Well, I know. It's just the world out there has become one big noise, and you're welcome to it. That's why I'm here, to learn detachment from it. I'm looking for my place, that's all. If you think you can handle it out there, go ahead. Good luck to you. You better go. I think I should wish good luck to you. <laughs> Thanks. Yes, 
Because her blue crown is beautiful. Come on. Who did this sculpture? Do you know? No. Yeah. Stray. Same man who painted me in the stained glass window. Is that why you brought me this way, so I could see it? You knew about Coronet Blue. What do you mean? I only know two things about myself. I was found half dead, and the only words I remember were Coronet Blue. And there it is. You're going to tell me it's another coincidence? Perhaps I'm one of you. What? Perhaps I ran away. Perhaps I really belong here. That's why my face is in a stained glass window. That's why a blue coronet. Perhaps. But they don't shoot at us much anymore. Yes, but why? Let's ask him. The artist, come on. Wait a minute. You don't think you're going with me, do you? I think I'd better. Two monks cause less suspicion than one at this time of night. Come on. Oh, come on. Don't need your help. I think you do. I don't want to let you in for another disciplinary measure. I don't want to feel responsible. I'm responsible for what I do, Mike. Nobody else. I just want to see that you get clear. Then I'll sneak back. Come on. Monastery courtyard. When did you say you were going to sneak back? Cleanliness is said to be godly. So versatility in scrubbing is a good thing. I consider it part of my religious education. I wish you'd go back to your non-involvement with the world and all that jazz. I don't have to feel guilty about dragging you into this. I'm staying right here with you, Mike. You need me. You don't need me. I wouldn't be too sure of that. Hey, come on, they'll be yelling for clean cups. Go! to be a monk, you know. I just said I tried, that's all. You were all right till I came along. That's what bugs me. Oh, why, Mike, I can always go back to it. Can you? It was serious, wasn't it, running away? Shouldn't you have asked for permission? They wouldn't have given it to me. I'm in training. The only permission I could have gotten was to leave for good. Is that what you've done? I don't know. You can eat breakfast off the floor. My friend's a great floor scrubber. Yeah? Well, he only gets regular pay. Was my uh, work satisfactory tonight, sir? Sure. Dishwasher. What's satisfactory? I was wondering if you wouldn't mind us asking for a little advance. How little? I don't know. No, 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 no. You get paid at the end of the week. No, no good. We have some traveling to do. Let's see, your manager or something? <laughs> I don't recall signing a contract. Uh, that one will do. Hey. Great. Hey. hey, where are you guys thinking of going? To look up somebody who may turn out to be a friend. He may not. So watch your step. I always dress this way. Maybe. Well, stop working. Hello. Hello. Very good, really. What is it? What do you want? We're looking for Maurice Stray. He's not here. That's strange. The telephone book says he is. Maurice Stray is dead. He can't be. I should know. I'm his daughter. Sorry. 
We didn't really. How did he die? Struck by an automobile. How long ago? A few months ago. You seem to have gotten over it fast. Mike, that's not very kind. I think she's lying. You can't walk into somebody's house and say they're lying. I don't mind. He didn't mean to frighten you about your father. Was there something you wanted? Uh, did you want to buy a painting of my father's? No, I'm sorry. He was a fine artist, your father. Yes, I suppose he was. But he painted religious subjects. Not much market for those anymore. It's a new world, isn't it? Yes, it is. Then I think we'd better forget the old one, and you'd better go. I don't know what you want. You've seen me before, haven't you? Maybe. I'm not sure. I can tell from your eyes you have seen me. Perhaps on the street. Look at me. Tell me. What's Coronet Blue? Coronet Blue? What are you... What do the words mean? Mike. No. No, no. Mike. I don't know what you're talking about. Mike, you're me. frightening her. She's frightening me because she knows something and she won't tell you. No, don't I you? don't know anything. Mike. Mike. Tell me. Excuse me. Look at him again. Do you recognize him at all? Should I? He posed for your father once, remember? No one posed for my father. He used photographs, not people. Photographs? Do you remember a temptation of St. Anthony he did in stained glass? The one with the monsters. Yes, yes, I remember it. Was that done from a photograph? I'm not sure. Do you know where it is? I don't know who you are. Neither does he. Please, this is very important to us. Do you have the photograph? What's your name? Jenny. Jenny, he doesn't trust you, but I do. photographs are over there, the ones we kept. The temptation was, was done from a, a, a rather large picture, as I remember. A group photograph. It's very kind of you to help us. My name is Peter. My name is Anthony. His name is uh, Alden, Michael Alden. You remember his name better than your own. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, I do. Here it is. Let me see. That's them all right. I'm sure they bunch. Same faces in the stained glass windows. Where am I? I'm not there. It's torn. My face has been torn out. It's not there at all. What happened? Well, it's an old photograph. Maybe you weren't there at all. Where's my picture? She doesn't know. Look, Jenny. We've got to find these men, these demons that pose for the photograph. Do you know where we can find them? No. It's very important to Mike and to me. You see, Jenny, I haven't got much time. I don't beg. She won't tell you. I'm going to find out the truth. It's a matter of life and death. I'm not reciting poetry. Mike. Please tell me the truth. Wait. You can have the photograph. I, I don't want it. Just leave me alone. Just go away. Don't come back and leave me alone. If you uh, want to see us again, we'll be at the searching eye. I'm sure. It's got to mean something. It's not just a chance picture he tore out of a magazine and mounted. <laughs> you don't pick demons at random. These men are a group. Look at the picture. They're united in some kind of 
evil shows in their faces. But look, the picture. Look who's just come in. I'm gonna talk to her. No, not yet. Why? Because you'll frighten her again. She's too devious to be frightened. Sit down. Boy, you've got an awful lot to learn about people. Hello? Did you want to see us? Not especially. Hey, you did want to see me. Yes. But not him. No, not him. Why does he have to be so aggressive? Maybe you'd be too if you were in his shoes. Jenny, I'm trying to help him. He's lost. Who isn't? He doesn't know who he is. Who does? Are you really that flip? Yes, and I write all my own material. Jenny, are you afraid of something? I only have people prying into my life. And why did you come and see me again? I found out something. Jenny's found out something about the picture. Oh. Well, ask her nicely or she won't tell you, will you? Say please. Please. I went to the print shop where my father bought many of the photographs he used. Uh, he didn't like people around, not even models. He, he was very withdrawn, I think you'd call it. What was he afraid of that he didn't like people around? Maybe he wasn't afraid of anything. Maybe he just found a thought or two to commune with. Go on, Jenny. Well, at the print shop, the old man said he remembered the picture as a, a group photograph of the um, Mount Everest Shooting Club. And? And that's all I know. Say thank you, Michael. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mount Everest Shooting Club. Goodbye, Henry. Where are you going? To find the people in this picture. Sit down. Jenny and I will help you find them, won't we, Jenny? I don't need help. I'm your friend, remember? I don't need friends. Wow, he's no charmer, is he? He doesn't mean it. No? Well, I'd say he made it quite clear an oversized sense of responsibility to other people. Oh, is that why he threw your offer of help right smack in your face? He's in danger, Jenny. He just doesn't want to involve his friends, that's all. My father painted him as a saint. That just shows how photographs can lie. He is no saint. Tell me something. Yeah? Why are you doing this for him? Because if he started traveling all over town in the daylight, he'd be in danger. I made him realize that. In danger of what? Some men with guns are trying to kill him. Does that answer your question? My father was killed by an automobile. I didn't ask you that. Here he is, Jenny. The Mount Everest Shooting Club disbanded in 1952. Mr. Names. Jenny, they're Mr. Names. It'll change my life. And you don't want it changed? I'm not sure. You see, I'm no saint either, Jenny. Hey. Hmm? Hurry up a little. Don't talk to me. I'm on silence. I'll get done so I can get out of here. Where's the list? List? List! Mount Everest oh, Shooting Club. Yeah. yeah. Wet. As long as the names are clear. Clear and soggy. Tomorrow clear with occasional showers. No, tomorrow clear and sunny. Absolutely and entirely. Tony. Tony? Your name's Anthony, isn't it? I'm not sure anymore. Well, whoever you are, there's a phone call for you. His girlfriend. I'm not supposed to have a girlfriend. But it's a free country. Jenny? You what? Jenny, listen. 
No, you, you're not running away, are you? You've hardly had a chance to talk. There's something wrong, I can tell. Jenny, you're not telling me the truth. to the shooting club. Be careful. I will. Maybe I'll find a little blonde got there before me. Yeah. I'm looking for Mr. Manatee. Ah, uh, he doesn't want to see anyone now. Just mention my name. No, no, no. You've got to make an appointment. Michael Alden, please mention my name to him, all right? All right, hold it here just a minute. Interested in seeing anyone? I'll take a minute of Look, time. Look, he's having this dinner. He doesn't want to Tell be Tell him about the Mount Everest shooting club. Open the door. Mr. Manatee, you know me, don't you? Look at me. I never saw you before. Look at this. The shooting club. You may go. Why did you get this? Why is my face missing? What do you mean? It's a face torn out of the photograph. Mine. Oh, no, you were never in this picture, believe me. How much do you want? That's why you're here, isn't it? Blackmail. Why would I try to blackmail you, Mr. Vanity? I have no idea. I'm having my dinner. Men don't expect blackmail. Unless they've got something to hide. What do you want in exchange for the picture? Information. What sort of information? What was the real purpose of the shooting club? I, it was a private group. Oh, we never even carried guns. The name was a joke, the shooting club. No one was injured. Except the young man. What young man? The one in the picture whose face is torn out. He died. Accidentally, or oh, quite accidentally, he died. He didn't die. He's me. Oh, no. No, he was a crafty boy, an evil boy, not you. He died accidentally. That boy is dead. Tell me the truth. I am telling you the truth. Who was he? What was he? Well, let me go and I'll tell you. Yes? He was a young man who dealt in literature and photography. He bought and sold a very special kind of product for gentlemen who could afford the product. Now, was that you? Ah, uh, give me the photograph. It was the only remaining photograph of a group most of whose members have since died. Died of various excesses. One might even say that the, not every shooting club was designed for excesses. Oh, but we hated guns. We were gun shy. We loved. Let me show you what we admired. Open it. That cabinet there. Go on. It won't hurt you. I'd even please you. It's a sampling, really, of our collection. I was forced to sell it off bit by bit. Does it please you? Oh, there you are, the puritanical younger generation. Said so all you were, a bunch of uh, puerile pornographers. Well, hardly puerile. 
We were grown men who enjoyed the better things in life. What about the boy? Did he look like me? You? Oh, no. He was a grimy little thing. He was killed accidentally, bringing a delivery via subway, an accident, a pity. Now, back to my gift. A little money, as I said, goes a long way. Keep the picture. I don't want the money. Really? Money has become very precious. Mr. Manatee, I don't know whether you care or not, but your club has been immortalized. Drop in sometime at the church of St. Connell. Church? I haven't been to church since I was your age. If you do drop in, watch out the roof doesn't fall on you. Church? Why should I go to church? That's all they were. A bunch of wealthy slobs who got together to share dirty books and pictures. What a waste of money. Today they could buy it at the street corners. Well, this is very special stuff. I saw some of it, but it was yuck. What is she? I don't think I could be a part of that. Maybe I don't know my old self, but I couldn't be errand boy for a bunch of dirty old men. Nobody ever knows what they'll do, for good or bad. You're talking about you or me? What do you mean? What do you mean? Never mind. It's your life, not mine. Listen, Mike, I lived a life before I went into the monastery. I shall undoubtedly live life again. So rest easy. I haven't lost my soul. What's that? Is that supposed to be me? Uh -huh. still. That's dreadful. I simply neglected to give notice, that's all. If you cause anything, you cause nothing more than a breach in etiquette. Right now, I don't know if Jenny's ever coming back. Yeah. Maybe it's Jenny. Maybe it is. Come on in. Come on in. You're never going to get to know who you are because you're going to be dead. know me, you must know what it means. Leave him alone. Jenny. Oh, Jenny. Pop. Mm -hmm. Why did you do it? Why did you run away? I'm sorry. Papa, you could have telephoned. I'd have come for you. I couldn't sleep in that place. I was so tired. Papa. That place. That was just a dream, wasn't it, Jenny? It's all right, Papa. That's where he's been. Why did you say he was dead? Because he wanted to be dead. He's not insane, you know. He's tired. The spirit's gone out of him, that's all. 
He wanted his dignity. When he went away, he asked me to tell his clients he'd died. He was afraid of something. Don't you understand anything? He was tired. Poor old man was pursued by demons. Demons? She doesn't mean those demons, Mike. Whatever you were, don't try and blame it on him. His demons are his own. Every artist has them. But he knew me. He knows my face. Then ask him. Don't torture him. But ask him. Straight. Oh. Look at my face. Do you remember the stained glass panel? Temptation of St. Anthony. There were 12 demons and a central figure in my face. With this face. Do you remember? Vaguely. I'm trying to think. Did I pose for that portrait? I'm trying to remember. Yes, you did. <laughs> it was there. Yeah, I was sitting there, I think, sketching. Sit down. Do some sketching again. I was drawing, and I looked up, and you were there. What was I doing? Did you speak to me? No, I didn't speak to anyone. You were with a girl. What did she look like? I don't remember. Did we speak? Did you overhear us say anything? No, I didn't want to hear anything. You were so sad, the two of you. You were saying goodbye, I think. And you were suffering. And I tried to capture some of that suffering in a picture. It was as if all the demons on earth were drawing you away from this girl. But you didn't want to leave. She was crying. Yes. And I could see love in your face. I leave. You were so secure in your love. I leave. And in yourself. I leave. But you were tormented. I leave. I leave. I leave. I remember something. Tell me some more. Quickly. That's all I remember. This is all.
back. It was good of you to return, Prater. At least to return the clothes you took. I thought it was the only proper thing to do. Possibly the only proper thing you've ever done. We shall miss you, Frater. You were, if nothing else. Now, how did W.S. Gilbert put it? A source of innocent merriment. Coming from you, Reverence, that's a very high compliment. Is that the girl you met, the one I saw waiting outside? Yes. My blessings on you. I do expect blessings, you know, from a marriage. Marriage? Well, it is the goal of courtship, isn't it? Marriage. Uh, yes, Reverence. Well, this is goodbye. Oh! My old habit. <laughs> I want to stay. What? I want to stay here with you. Seems only fair. I took a man away, I'll take his place. Nobody took a man away. In fact, you did him a favor, didn't he, Anthony? It's not easy to find yourself anywhere. Sometimes it takes another person to show us what we're to do. I want to stay anyway. Why? Not sure why. Because you saw your face in the stained glass window? That isn't reason enough. I don't consider a coincidental resemblance to St. Anthony a sign from God that you have a religious vocation. I could try. Because there are men pursuing you in the street? This isn't a hideaway or an escape. Didn't you tell him that? I tried to. Reverence, I have no identity. Here, it doesn't matter. Here, we sacrifice our former identity. It isn't an escape, it's a job of work. Now, you go and finish your job. Hey, how you have a clue now. Eileen, <laughs> she's faded away. Maybe she'll come back again, come on. Goodbye, Reverence. Goodbye. Stranger, wondering who am I? 